Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our final hour of Poke Monday for this evening. I hope you all have enjoyed our wonderful trip through this land. And it's almost over for tonight. But we have made some good fucking progress. Are you kidding me? We've raised up a lot of Pokemon levels. We've defeated Team Rocket. We even got a new badge. And now, with the Sylph Scope in hand, we can go back over to Lavender Town and uh, make good on our promise to take down these ghosts. And uh, potentially make our way over to the next gym. Yeah, I think that sounds like a pretty good, uh, pretty good st strategy to me. Because once we get to the top of the tower, we'll be able to get that Poke Flute, and the Poke Flute will open up a whole bunch of new areas to us. Oh yeah, baby. So, whips, do your namesake. Because it's a much easier route to go straight as opposed to go around. And don't worry, Lemon, I won't forget to get a Haunter. Well, at least a Ghastly. And then at some point, we'll uh, transform it into a Haunter. Okay. All of these sad, sad mourners who uh, have actually lost Pokemon to real legitimate death. Like, not the fainting bullshit that we deal, we deal with on a regular basis. Uh, real, actual, legitimate death. I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief up there. Ooh. Mischief, you say? No. Like the hair-raising kind or the ghost-raising kind? I would like to raise up a couple of ghosts. I did it during the break. <laughs> so we're good to go. And I honestly did have to look and check. Oh, my God. Is that Fjarts? Is that Fjarts waiting for us? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and switch out. Put Pajiz, uh, let's put Blood Mouse in the front spot because I feel like he's gonna bring out either the Raticate or his Pidgeot first. Hey, Fjarts! Hey, Megatim! What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead? At least I can make them faint! Let's go, pal! <laughs> Hi, Shannon, welcome. I'm glad you could join us. I I'm sorry you're feeling poopy. That sucks. But you made it just in time to watch me kick the arts right in the butthole. Hi, Pidgeotto. Guess what? Thunderbolt attack, go! Oh. That's right, Lemon. I forgot. His Raticate is dead, and it's kind of implied that he died after the last time we fought. Right? So, like, it's possible that we killed one of his Pokemon? I remember that being one of the, uh, one of the fun little creepy pastas that was made about the original Pokemon. Mega Punch, go! Yes, that works much better than electric attacks. Oh, that's not good. Blood Mouse fell asleep, but don't worry, he's not sleeping. He is just resting. Awaiting the opportunity to wake up, only to destroy this execute. Well, after getting barraged all over. Uh, okay, it only hit three times that time, but we're still asleep. Damn it. Again with the barrage. And this could last up to five turns, possibly longer. Hi, Chihuahua. All right, so this is turn number three of sleep. Come on. Really? Well. Looks like the execute might just snake out the wind because I can't do anything. Wow. Wow. All right, Fjarts. Uh, you wanna play hardball? You wanna play hard-boiled ball? I'm game. Quick attack. You know what birds are good at doing? They're good at sitting on eggs. And by sitting on, I mean shitting on. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Enemy Execute has fainted. Pidgeezus gained a bunch of experience, and he's about to use a Gyarados. Fuck. Because you know what would be super great right now? Blood Mouse. Ah, I see you too have a potato. Good for you, Fjarts. Do your 40 damage. See if I care. Because I'm going to switch over to... 
Ooh, a blood mouse that can't take 40 damage to the face. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to heal up the super potion and run the risk that Pajesus might faint. This could be interesting. I'm playing, I'm definitely playing out the turns game here. Okay, Pajesus is gonna go down, but his sacrifice will not be in vain because Blood Mouse is gonna come out at full force and deliver a thunderbolt, the likes of which this Gyarados has never seen. And kill it in one fucking hit. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Blood Mouse goes up to level 26. He's trying to learn Swift, but he can't learn him four moves. Delete an older move to make room for Swift? Sure. Let's see if I can delete something. Uh, is Swift better than Quick Attack? I don't think so. I think Quick Attack not only has more PP, but it has a potential to do more damage when you level up. I think Swift is a set amount of damage and quick attack grows right 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 I think that's right Swift might not be able to miss but there's that damage issue Then I guess I'll take Swift. Uh, he's about to bring out a Kadabra. Let's see how well Blood Mouse does. I will say this, it would be really nice to go ahead and be able to take out this Kadabra with Blood Mouse because uh, that experience would be super great. He's gonna try and teleport, but it failed. Why would you try and tell your Pokemon to teleport? That would be like me telling Pidgeot to use Whirlwind. The artist is about to use Charmeleon. Yes, we will switch out to Go Potato. Put your eyes on your enemy. Fair enough, Limit. No, that's completely fair. It does do more damage. And because it's on Pikachu, chances are he's going to be the swifter Pokemon against most Pokemon that he goes against. So the attacking first is almost a null factor. Yes, Potato grew to level 27. Yes, grow ever stronger, my Gyarados. Swallow his hole. Really? Really? You're going to say you took it easy on me? How's your Pokédex coming, pal? I just caught a coupon. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I got to get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Excellent. So now that we put Fjords back in his place, jarred up that little bucket of Fjords, even we can't identify the wayward ghosts. A sylph scope might be able to unmask them. Well, as it turns out, I happen to have one of those. So that's going to come in really handy for identifying the ghosts, is it not? Ooh, looky looky, immediately with the ghastly. Go, Blood Mouse. I'm, I'm going to count on you to carry me through this dungeon. And put him down. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Ugh. <sighs> I was, I was a little worried there for a minute that uh, it was not going to work out in my favor as far as destroying all these ghosts. Ooh! Hello, Cubone. I believe I will catch you. Uh, I'm kind of going to wait until I get to a higher floor, Shannon, before I catch a Ghastly. Possibly I can catch it a little bit closer to the uh, precipice of evolving. Ah! Oh. oh, God, that hurt. Oh, God, that hurt so bad. I can't look. Oh. Oh. And that's like a couple of levels higher, too. Like, that's not just regular super effective. That's like super effective from four levels below. That hurts. My pride and my damage. Okay. That's a lot of growls, which means I might be able to sneak in a horn attack without killing it. Fuck! Fuck! Oh well. Never mind. There'll be plenty more, I assure you. Um, we can go ahead and heal up Blood Mouse. 
Yeah, unfortunately, Shannon, there won't be any chance for me to get a Gengar. Well, maybe. May I don't think there will be, but I might be able to finagle something. Maybe. Hello, Channeler. You want to fight me, huh? What do you have? A uh, ghastly? Well, I can't say that I like your odds. They are the name of your Pokemon. Ooh. It didn't kill her in one blow. I'm actually kind of surprised. And Swift doesn't affect Ghastly. Mega Punch won't affect Ghastly either. Ooh, but that Confuse Ray certainly does. Come on, come on. There we go. Give me that Thunderbolt. So, good news, bad news time. Thunderbolt certainly is effective. It's incredibly effective. Eh, uh, but once we run out of PP, that's kind of it for it. Unfortunately, Blood Mouse doesn't really have any other moves that affect Ghost-type Pokemon. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be a rather big uh, jolt to the system once Pikachu becomes completely unusable. All right, good, perfect, 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 perfect. Because now I'm gonna throw out this, nope, not the super potion. I'm gonna throw out this Pokeball and hopefully catch this Ghastly. Come on, baby. One, two, three, awesome. Caught ourselves a Ghastly. There you go, Marcy. Now you can go to bed satisfied. I caught a Ghastly that at some point will become a Haunter. And yes, I will give it a nickname. Um. Rick Gasly <laughs> was transferred over to Big Bill's PC. <laughs> Do you? Do you see what I was doing? Did you see what I was doing before I did it? Yeah, as if it wasn't completely obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you all would enjoy that. <coughs> Nereal, don't go to bed, man. Just go to bed. Oh, that nightshade, though. That nightshade's not going to feel good. Uh, does, doesn't that do more damage if you're asleep? Or is that um, Dream Eater? Dream Eater is the attack that can only be used against the sleep Pokemon. Oh, God. Blood Mouse is doing some serious work up in here. And uh, the PP definitely reflects that. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is spongy and bruised. Uh, basically, since the minute that Marcy asked me to get a ghost type Pokemon. Hi, Tilly. Welcome. Glad you could join us. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks for taking the, the opening line that I was going to use when I actually used the bloody thing. Oh, it hurt itself. Son of a bitch. Ooh. That doesn't feel very good. Uh, let me go ahead and bring out Potato. Because Potato can definitely do some work between Dragon Rage and Bubble Bean. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about our chances. Good. Good, 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 good. Tato defeat the channeler. Hmm, what am I doing? I don't know, are you under some sort of trance? Do you need help? Blink your eyes twice if you need aid, my young dear. Are there any more of your kind wandering around here? Son of a bitch. More random fights. I guess I could have gotten repel, but eh, whatever. Who cares? 
All right, Potato. Do some serious work with a bubble beam. Dragon Rage only does 40 damage and they definitely have more than 40 health. But I feel like I can switch back and forth between Bubble Beam and Dragon Rage to kind of balance out. Ooh, I didn't realize that Dragon Rage only had 10 PP. Ugh, I'm gonna have to rely more on Bubble Beam. Shit. All right, fine, whatever. <sighs> do, 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 going down the next floor. I guess up, it would be up the next floor. Hi, Channeler. Welcome to your death, uh, your doom. Wow, that was really insensitive of me, I'm sorry. Welcome to your doom. With a bubble beam. Excellent. You know, you would think that the nightshade's gonna do good damage, but uh, turns out Gyarados just has a crap ton of HP, so it doesn't look that way. It did about the same amount of damage that it did to Pikachu. Nah, I think I'm gonna stay in. No matter how many ghost type Pokemon you send in, my Gyarados is just gonna laugh at you with its always open jaw. That was something that always kind of made me laugh about Gyarados. It was always like, you just, you just imagine that eventually it gets some sort of lockjaw going on, and like, it's really hard to do stuff if you can't close your mouth. You know what I'm saying? I, you probably don't know what I'm saying because I was trying to talk my mouth open. So, you know, I imagine Gyarados is always a very awkward Pokemon in real life. Real life. What? Where? Who am I? Who are you? Did you beat me? What's going on here? Where's my grandson? Is my Pokemon dead? Alright, so we got an awakening, but what do we get before that? I guess something that I had something of already? Yeah, whatever. Oh, Marcy got ads at the worst time. Oh, poor Marcy. Poor ads having to look at Marcy. <laughs> she can't hear me say that. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah, Lim, that's basically what I'm saying. Gyarados has tetanus. Perennial tetanus. Chandler wants to fight. He sent out, she sent out another ghastly. <sighs> Bubble beam, go! <laughs> because I could, Mars. <laughs> Give me another bubble beam. Make this one count before I have to heal up. Oh yeah, yeah. Good, good, mahaha, <laughs> good. And we're gonna super potion Gyarados. Part of me thinks I should go ahead and bring back Pajiz. Because that Razor Wind is gonna be super effective for me. Not Repel. Revive. The other R item that I have. Unfortunately, Blood Mouse is kind of a wasted effort right now bringing him back from the dead because of the whole, you know, lack of PP thing. And yes, I do see that Max Ether. Uh, Thunderbolt has like 35 PP though, doesn't it? So like a Max Ether would actually be a pretty good item to, ah, uh, yeah, let's do it. And restore Thunderbolt. Cool. Mega Tim found an HP up. <laughs> um, I mean, it's gotta be Blood Mouse again, right? Even though he's dead, so he can't really experience the health benefits of a HP up. Is there? Is there a healing point on the next floor? That would be nice. Ooh, so there is. How the bloody hell about that? We sealed this space with white magic. You can rest here. Ah. Entered purified protected zone. Megaton's Pokemon are fully healed. How very convenient of them to have put that in here for me. And I found another nugget. Awesome. Yo, bro, I found another nugget. Let's get blazed, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's that good lavender town shit. You know it's got those lavender hands. <laughs> Ooh, hello, haunter. You've been haunting my dreams, baby. I'm gonna get one of you soon, soon and very soon. 
Uh, can somebody do me a flavor flav and look up the level that the ghastly will become a haunter just out of sheer morbid curiosity? I'm curious. Lemon, I might have, and, and also Dan, I might have wasted those items, sure, but I couldn't, I couldn't have picked up the HP up if I didn't. So what, uh, what other item was going to go? And potato loot grew to level 28. Unfortunately, Marcy, I couldn't steal it away. That would be very good. I, can, I, I can't. I can't steal other people's Pokemans. Otherwise, this would be a much shorter game. Give me your soul. So basically, that channel was, channeler was cheating. And probably this one, too. Yeah, by not being 25, these Pokemon should not exist, basically, is what you're saying. Oh, shut your dirty mouth, Dan. Don't make me come over there. Give me a Dragon Rage. All right. I guess he did only have 40 HP left. Cool. I'm okay with that. Defeated Channeler. Megatim got 690 gold for winning. Hello. What do you have to say for yourself, my dear? Give me blood. Really? What, is Demonite become a, uh, uh, excuse me. Dragonite become, uh, God damn it! you know what I mean. Does that Pokemon evolve at too high, too low a level for him to have? Too high a level for him to have? <sighs> Pronoun. Tenses. Potato is confused. Potato use Dragon Rage. Yeah, let's switch. I'm thinking we'll bring back out Blood Mouse. Especially since now, yeah, with the healing and the max PP. Blood Mouse is back up to fighting form! Go Thunderbolt! Which makes eh, short work of this ghastly. He'll be a two pump chump here. Blood Mouse is confused. Come on, don't hurt yourself, son of a bitch! And with that nightshade, that nightshade's not gonna feel good at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blood Mouse is confused no more, so they were able to slip in another Thunderbolt to finish off this round. But in there, one more? I think there's one more Pokemon. Yep, about to use a Ghastly. Fuck, I was hoping it would be another Haunter. I really need that experience. That would be super great. If I could just clean up on some, on some good old fashioned Haunter experience up in here. Okay. Don't you dare be confused, Blood Mouse. Blood Mouse, awesome. Make that ghost bleed non-existent blood. Perfect. Megatim has defeated Channeler. And we'll go ahead and heal Blood Mouse. Well, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a repel and I'm going to, wait, didn't I already do that? X accuracy, awesome. And then I'm gonna run back downstairs real quick and go back into that white space. Cause I need the power of that healing. Excellent. And now we can go back upstairs. Eh, I figure if it's right there, I mean, why the fuck not? You know, there's no reason for the first uh, 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 battle after the healing zone to. <laughs> Is that, is that a good witch laugh for you? <laughs> because, Dan, they literally say they purified it with white magic. Like, that's not me being racist. That's Japan being racist, okay? Wow. Well, Potato. I believe you have more than proven yourself here. Let's go ahead and switch you out. Nope, no items over there. I figured with that being a small little alcove that there would be something back there, but not so much. <sighs> I 
I feel like every time they make a weird and awkward noise, I have to do my best to make it sound real. Sometimes it works better than others. Quah! It's kind of a hard one to do. Right, lock you, Zipper! Really? That ghastly is faster? And the lick paralyzed it. Oh no! Oh no, this is really bad. This is really bad. Because Ember doesn't do near the damage that it should to be able to be on par with this Ghastly. I was hoping to be able to slip him in here and get some experience, but uh... It looks like he might get his ass kicked. So that would be... Uh, Qua as a Gavin noise would be kind of like... Qua! And it hurt itself. Fuck. Well, all right, right lock, you did your best. You lasted one round. Get the fuck out of Dodge. That nightshade, though. That nightshade's not gonna feel good to Pejesus. I don't think he's necessarily weak to psychic stuff, but it's certainly not gonna feel great. Oh. All right, he's charging up the Razor Wind. Confused Ray's gonna come along. Please, please, please. Don't you dare attack yourself, Pidgeezus. Damn it. Hey, guess what doesn't affect ghosts? Attacks, any attacks, at all, don't work, at all, idiot. But electricity does. It's okay, Green, in three days, he shall rise again, stronger than before. Because not only is he part Jesus, but he's also part Saiyan. Found a rare candy. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you want a rare candy? One of my butterscotches. We're very famous for being very butterscotchy. Be gone. Intruders. Ghost appeared. So Silphscope unveiled the ghost's identity as... A wild Marowak. Ho! Oh, Head's level 32. Ha! 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 <laughs> Level 30. <coughs> okay. It's focusing energy. And Rightlock's gonna do its best to put some sort of dent in this son of a bitch. So I can try and catch it. Because you bet your sweet ass I'm catching this Marowak. If I didn't catch a Cubone, I am catching this Marowak. Um... I feel like if we bring out the whips, we'll have the type advantage, so he won't be able to kill us. Or she, I think most Marowaks are moms, right? Anyway. Oh, it can't be caught? Really, Lemon? So I just have to kill it? Is that, is that true? Is that true? Please tell me that's not true. Because that just knocked it down to the perfect capture point. So you're telling me right now that as low health as it is, nope, it dodged the thrown ball. This Pokemon can't be caught. Okay, well, that shows us, son of a bitch. How about a Mega Drain? It's okay. We learned from experience, guys. We sucked health from the Marowak. It died a second time. The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calm. It departed into the afterlife. 
and Repel's effect wore off, and now we have a cavalcade of fucking trainers as we try and make our way through this little gauntlet. Uh, we're gonna bring back Kajiza. And I feel like... I feel like we can go ahead and... Nope. Damn it, wrong Pokemon. I feel like we can go ahead and bring back Rightlock just for fun. Just in case I have to bring back or bring out the big guns. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and heal up. Whips. And probably Pajesus. Ah, because I'm lazy, Kisty. I need to get rid of some items anyway. Apparently I have poor inventory management skills. What do you want? Why are you here? Uh, what's going over there, dude? Why is Team Rocket here? Holy crap, Team Rocket! That means all of my Pokemon are suddenly way more effective. Ember, burn that bat alive, wah Perfect. Suffer your birds. And suffer my bite! You know what they say about puppies. This puppy's bite is worse than its bark. Ah! Although it's confused. Nice! Nice! Boo. 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 And Zubat. Nah, I think we're gonna stick out here. I think we're gonna stick on out here. It, it, Confused Ray failed because we're already goddamn confused. And I would really like to not be confused anymore. Or, alternatively, for Bite to actually flinch somebody for the first time since, like, episode two. Fuck. Oh, well, whatever. I'm pretty sure that it has only ever flinched one Pokemon. Bite has. It must be a ridiculously low percentage that that happens at. Excellent. But Jesus gained some experience and he's about to send out a goal back. Nope, we're gonna stick out. Cause I have a feeling that we might just be able to make short work of this goal bat if we're careful. Boo, boo, boo. No, no, Dan, she means we took out two trainers the entire night. It's actually been a very slow evening. Alright, gathering up. And PGs is confused. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome! Razor Wind! Wow. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Oh well. Oh, that screech. That screech makes my defense go down. DX. Double DX! Ah! Oh. Stop it with your stupid go Ah, oh, God! Woo! Yeah, good thing we uh, couldn't direct that ire at the enemy, Pidgeezus. How about that? Fuck off. Ugh, Supersonic comes in. How about a cut? I know you're confused, Whips, but it's okay. The enemy is that way. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Awesome. A one-turn confusion makes me a happy man. Oh, that screech. Stop it! You're actually killing my ears. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. First rocket down. I give up. I'm not gonna forget this. Well, you're gonna run away quickly. That's what you're gonna do. Who's next? Who's next on this rocket barrage? Another team rocket wants to fight. What are you gonna send out, punk? You got a coughing? Ha! 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 You're gonna be choking on defeat! How about a cut? Hmm. Vine Whip's not gonna be very effective, is it? No, I didn't think so. Um, we might wanna switch out whips. 
Just saying. Unfortunately, while our grass type advantage is working well for us one way, uh, our inability to do non grass type damage is kind of hurting us. So close. So close. So close. Yeah, buddy. Coffin goes down. Team Rocket is about to send out a drowsy. No, I think actually we'll stay. If you're not gonna use another grass type Pokemon, then uh, I'm going to get some health back. Because that sounds delicious. Mmm, that critical hit damage. And wonderfully, we didn't get set to sl uh, put to sleep this fucking round. Ah, Deck Waffles, why did I have to say that? Why did I have to say something about not being put to sleep and I immediately get put to fucking sleep? <sighs> Disable failed because I'm asleep. So it doesn't really matter. So you need to disable again. Deck Waffles. Got my tackle. I just want to sap your health. 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 How hard is that? Apparently very hard. And I'm still fucking asleep. Do I not give you enough time in your Pokeball whips? You can't be this fucking tired. Fine whip. Mm, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough. Not enough. Mega Drain! Oh yeah, I guess I do have an awakening. Oh well, whatever. Who cares? Whip screw to level 30 and is trying to learn Razor Leaf! <gasps> yes, I will! Uh, 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 I'm gonna have to take away Tackle. But then I'm all grass. Like, that's committing to a type at that point. Um, I mean, I guess it's gonna have to be because I can't get rid of Cut, and I damn sure don't want to lose Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is a great move, so I, I guess it's gonna have to be Tackle, huh? Drop Vine Whip? Really? That's literally the move he's named after. There's no way I can drop his fucking titular attack and uh, cut is a normal move but it also only has like 10 pp so it's not even that great Pokemon are only good for making money. Stay out of our business, you stupid kid. You know what? Why don't you run home to mama? And I think I'm going to switch out for Gorn the Destroyer here. Good night, Green. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us for a little bit. Uh, you're about to miss a big sign-off. Are you sure you can't stay on for a couple more minutes? We're just about through here. Almost to the top of the tower, almost done for the evening. You're gonna miss out on the big finish. Ice Beam! Oh, oh, that super effective ice attack out of nowhere. And Gorn the Destroyer grows ever stronger. Rock is about to use Rattata. Nah, I think we're gonna stick with Gorn the Destroyer here. I'm pretty sure that we're pretty safe. Really? If that's the best critical hit you got? Yeah, I'm definitely glad we're sticking out with Gorn the Destroyer. Um, seriously, how great of an idea was it to train a Nidoran up from the beginning? Like, Gorn has pulled through with some clutch saves. Rocket is about to use Raticate. Nope, we're sticking in. Ice Beam, go! If it doesn't kill it, it will freeze it. Oh, oh, frozen solid so that I may seismic toss you across the battlefield. Just, ah, uh, boosh. Bye-bye. Uh, you fucking thought you had a chance. 
Instead, Gorn learns you a thing or two. Ice Beam! Oh my god! Gorn is a machine! Holy shit! Can nothing stop the destroyer? No. No, as it turns out. You're not getting away with this. I'm pretty sure I just did. Not gonna lie to you. Pretty sure I just did. Eh, you came to save me. Thank you. But I came here of my free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. Oh, I see you already killed her. I think Marowak's spirit has gone into the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House. At the foot of this tower, you won't be able to miss it. I'll put out a nice delightful sign that says, doesn't touch boys. Is this the house? Mr. Fuji has been praying alone for Cubone's mother. It's so warm. Pokemon are nice to hug. Oh, it's a Psyduck. Really? You're hugging a Psyduck? You're happy about hugging a Psyduck? I think he's fucking retarded. Whatever. Hello, Mr. Fuji. Megatim, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. Ooh, I got a Poke Flute. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Like the play, Spring Awakening is a very good play. Have you seen that? It's on Broadway. It works on all sleeping Pokemon, including that big old fat ass you've seen on the roads a couple of times. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that uh, that means we have one last thing to do on our little quest book here before we call it a night. I'm going to take Jesus, and we're going to fly. We're going to fly back over to Cerulean City. And wait, no, 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 wait, 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 it's not there, it's here? I think, yeah, excellent. And our last objective for the evening uh, after we heal up. Don't you worry, Kisty. I remembered. And I think I've got six great balls left. That should be enough. Yeah, six. There's actually two chances to catch a Snorlax. So if I if I somehow miss this one, which I won't. Uh, then there, there'll be another chance. Uh, Scorched is getting rid of one, get rid of the other. Like, will clearing out this Snorlax get rid of the other Snorlax too? Are they conjoined like that? Or do, do I have to clear out both? I, I was pretty sure that I had to clear out both. A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. Whatever shall you do about a sleeping Pokemon? Hmm. How about play the song? What a lovely melody you've played. Snorlax woke up. He attacked in a grumpy rage. Oh no! Well, that's what you get for waking up a fat Pokemon. Wow! Wow! I totally forgot the provocative stance that Snorlax is taking. It's like, look at my tent. <laughs> Go in the destroyer. I need you to use your ice beam attack and freeze that fucking Snorlax. Freeze it now. Damn it. Immediately with the rest. Immediately with the rest, bullshit. How about a seismic toss? That's actually pretty impressive. To be able to seismic toss a Snorlax. 
Okay, it woke up. That means it's gonna heal, right? Because it used rest. Oh wait, no. The healing uh, begins when it goes to sleep. Ow. Okay, we're gonna keep using horn attack. And that raises his special a lot. Give me another ice beam. Oh, motherfucker! <gasps> I cannot believe how lucky we just got with that critical hit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need all of your power right now. Like, if you've ever believed in a spirit bomb in your entire life, this is when I need you. Give me all of your strength. One, two, three. Ah! Oh my god, you guys, we caught the snow nice in one fucking Pokeball. <laughs> Through the magic of all of your help, we have been able to accomplish so much tonight. Very lazy, just eats and sleeps. And its round bulk builds. It becomes steadily more slothful. Do you want to give a name to Snorlax? Yeah, why not? Let's go with... Let's go with... Winkle. Like Rip Van Winkle. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it, I like it a lot. And... Save that son of a bitch. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this has been a very, very successful Poke Monday stream. So it's time for our little round out speech here. Mods, plug the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Poke Monday for tonight. Join us next week when we'll be right back here picking up exactly where we left off. We have another fun trip ahead of us. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here. Same Tim time, same Tim channel. You've been watching this on twitch.tv slash timleftwitch for those watching live. For those watching the VODs, you've been watching this on youtube.com slash timleftwitch. My name is Tim Leftwich. You can find me on Twitter at timleftwitch. Ask me questions for the TNA. I need more questions. Make sure you go to uh, roosterteeth.com slash user slash timleftwitch and send me questions there. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.